Well, the first time I got the 650 out this year, I was checking it over, and I noticed one of the cylinder studs is broke. Let me take you to the sled and show you what's wrong. If I can draw your attention to this corner of the PTO cylinder, you see that there should be a nut there instead of a rusty nub. Um, that's not good. I'd like to tell you this is the first time I've seen it, but uh, it's not. My buddy Tommy had two of them pop on the middle cylinder of his Pipe 650 uh, last year up at Bratfest. So should be a relatively easy fix. You can see Tommy gave me a couple of the studs. Uh, he had a part motor that, you know, it's just bare cases that he yanked them out of. So basically it's pull off the air box, that carb, the pipe, um, get the coolant out of it, and take her apart. So uh, I'm going to get after it. Quick check in on the teardown. I got the carb and the pipe off, and the air box, of course, came off before the carb. Um, pipes are a little tight in there, but it came out, and uh, I only have to pull the one. So I'm just going with that. This is going to be a kind of a minimalistic mid-season repair. Bringing you back in for an update, I got the water manifolds busted off, and uh, I got the uh, rest of the corner bolts off. I don't necessarily have to break the head gasket loose on this one, and it's not leaking anywhere, so I don't really have any need to. So it remains to be seen if that'll happen. Uh, the next step is to lift the cylinder. Literally 10 seconds have elapsed since I filmed that last little update, and the cylinder's off. And this project got a lot easier than I thought because you could see the base gasket stuck to the cylinder. That's going to be way better than scraping down on the crankcase. Um, piston looks great. Uh, everything looks good in there. Everything looks clean so far. So the worst part of the job is going to be to scrape off these water manifold gaskets and get that cleaned up for reassembly. Famous last words? I don't know. But uh, I'm going to keep going with it. Broken stud came out. I'm not going to kid you, it wasn't easy. Not at all. Um, I tried heating the cases with a with a propane torch, and then uh, I used uh, ended up using my mini inductor on that bolt to get it hot enough, and that lit the vice grip. Eventually it worked. So, uh, I don't know. I think we're uh, halfway through. Things are going good. Hi there. I'm going to interrupt the video for just a few seconds to ask you to please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already done so. I'd really appreciate it. And if you have already subscribed, I really appreciate that too. A big thank you to everybody that's subscribed. All right, she's torqued back down. Just cleaning up the gasket surfaces of the water manifolds and then uh, slap her together. Good to go. Yeah, I know. It's not my usual repair. I'm not pulling the motor. I'm not pressure testing it. Hey, it's the middle of the season. I want to ride this thing. Sometimes a guy's just got to take his chances. Bring you back for another check-in. I got the water pipes on. Got to hook up those hoses, tighten up the carb boots, put in the air box, put on the pipes, fill it with coolant. So next time I bring you back, the motor will be running. And uh, I did find the uh, broken off end of the stud with the nut still on it in the belly pan. And you can see sitting next to the other stud, the length difference. So uh, there you go. You can tell by the smoke that I've started it already. Doesn't that just sound beautiful? Oh, I love this thing. I can put a little fuel in or take her for a rip. It's dark out, so it'll be tomorrow at lunchtime before I take you guys for a ride. Well, I'm finally home during daylight, so uh, let's give this Indy 650 a test rip after the repair.
So all I can say after those test hits is, wow, she's crisp, spot on. So uh, I got her clutch to engage at 5,000, right on the nuts, and you can see I can hold it right under there, hit it, zero bog, right out of the hole, super snappy, uh, skis up, when I got traction anyways, skis way up. So she hooks up good on the hard pack, a little less good on the ice. It's got trail studs, not ice picks. It's a trade-off you make. Uh, anyways, I couldn't be happier with this sled. I know some people might object to the quick fix on it and not doing a whole tear down, reseal, pressure check, but hey, this thing is just too good to not enjoy. I don't want to have it down for a couple weeks. I want to just ride it. And I've got spare motors, so worst comes to worst, I can always fix it. So uh, anyways, if you're enjoying these old sled videos, please subscribe to the channel. I could really use your help there with growing the channel. Uh, hit that like button, and uh, if you're on any old sled-based social media, Please go ahead and share this, and uh, if your friends like the sound of a uh, triple pipe triple, well, you probably should tell them about this video. They'd appreciate it. So, thanks for watching.